Good morning, YouTube, and welcome to another video. Today is going to be a full day of eating. Today is Saturday, December 10th, so we are kind of in that weird limbo before the new year. And, you know, I don't want to die because of all the holidays coming up, but I am still trying to somewhat watch. We're just going to kind of check out what I eat for the day and how I've been living until we get to January and we start grinding again. Every morning, I start my morning off with... <sighs> one cat hair, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, I butt chug this, and then I have 20 milliliters of cream and some coffee with some stevia. When I wake up, I typically go to the bathroom, I weigh myself, then I come out here, I drink my tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with water, and then I have a coffee. After I drink this, I typically have a cup of black coffee, so I'm not doubling up on the cream. So I'm going to relax, drink this, and then I will catch you guys at breakfast. See you there. Oh, <laughs> I can't drop that. <laughs> We're gonna go try this place at the oceanfront called Harvest, so I will show you guys what I'm having there. And I just would like to say real quick that what I like to do to make sure that I'm not packing on a ton of calories if I go out to eat, I like to look at the menu before I go. And then when I'm looking at the menu in front of everybody, I'm like, oh wow, this looks good. I had no idea what was on it. But I know every last item that they're selling and I already know what I'm gonna eat. So I'll catch you guys there. <laughs> okay, so what I got on this plate is a chicken herb ciabatta sandwich. I got that chipotle aioli on the side. I love sauce, so I'm not gonna cut it out, but on the side will drastically help kind of like decrease the amount of calories that I'm taking in. And instead of french fries, which looked really good and I wanted, a fruit cup for a fruit cup. So a little bit less saving in on calories there. So this is what I'm gonna eat for breakfast. I also got a Diet Pepsi here, and I will see you guys at lunch. Good morning, everyone. Sit, sit down. Sit, give paw for the algorithm. Give paw. Good boy. Sit down. Sit, sit down, paw. Thank you. Wipe it down. 
time it is. It's too early for you to be mouthing. Good morning. Roughly about a mile. Still getting my 10K a day and 10,000 steps a day. I go for little sporadic walks here and there throughout the, the work day. Uh, it's a great day. I woke up and I got my workout done. That is, that's the best feeling when it's out of the way. And then all you gotta do is go for like little walks throughout the day. So yeah, see you guys at lunch. shrimp bowl and this meal is a banger it's 493 calories I showed everything that I put on top 
This right here is homemade pickled red cabbage. I love to pickle stuff. Pickling red cabbage, red onions, tossing that in on stuff really elevates a dish. This is one of my favorite things to eat. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into meal two. Gotta give it a taste test for the people back home. That chipotle crema is so good. We should give it a shot. See you guys in meal three. Ghost has a sour green apple energy drink. I've been dying to try it. It's I think it's been out for some time, but I finally got my paws on one when I went to the grocery store here to pick up a cucumber for God only knows what. My shrimp bowl. Really good. I love the sour green apple. I also love the sour watermelon. <sighs> Let's get wrecked and file some claims. delivery anybody order an extra large bubby Third and final meal of the day, we got a Pittsburgh chicken salad. Why is it a Pittsburgh chicken salad? If you've seen previous videos, it's because there's fries on top. Got some boathouse ranch and of course, sriracha sauce on top so that I use less dressing and I also like spicy. And then I got one little baby garlic knot here. Not the most calorie friendly thing. However, we have some left over. Nothing goes to waste in this house. So I fit it into my daily caloric intake. We get these from Aldi and they are so good. Far and few times that we get them because it's 120 calories for one little baby garlic knot, but they're very tasty. And then I'm going to have this meal with the Diet Coke. Cheers. We made you something. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about putting anything down. <laughs> So as you could probably tell at the beginning of this video, I had the best intentions to show you a video of a full day of eating of me making the best and healthiest choices for me. And that went to hell in a handbasket real quick. I used to have this really bad mindset that I could only start a diet or some type of health journey on a Monday. And say I screwed up on a Tuesday, that would leave me Wednesday to Sunday to go completely balls to the wall and dig myself even deeper than when I started. That is a terrible habit because every day counts and doing stuff like that just digs you deeper and deeper and deeper. So getting back on track, the weigh-ins that I have showed here on the screen, it shows the importance of not quitting and to just pick back up right where you left off because you can undo what you've done. 
Now my weight at the start and my weight at the end, is that all fat loss? No, obviously not. A lot of it's water weight. But if you keep doing the things that I used to do where you just continued on throughout the week eating terrible stuff, that turns into fat and that weight becomes a solid number and you don't lose as much as quick as I did in this video because you're continuing to just pound calories and uh, it's harder to undo that damage. And I also woke up this morning even lighter which was a surprise to me. I was doing well, but I didn't anticipate to drop that much weight. So just more solid proof to not quit and to pick back up where you left off. Just a few months ago, I dreamed of my weight being in the 160s. And now that I'm finally here, I will do anything to not allow myself to get back where I was. Going home, traveling, holidays, it doesn't mean you have to fully restrict. However, if you have a goal in mind and you're an easy gainer like myself, you have to remain mindful. Eat with somewhat of a, of a limit, smaller portions, swap things out. If you're traveling and you're concerned with getting your workouts in, um, maybe get more workouts the week before you leave. So if you have a four day split, do six days instead. My cousin has a gym in her garage and I'm lucky enough that whenever I go home, you know, she lets me in with open arms. If you have somewhere to work out, go there. If they don't have everything that you normally do in their place, just swap workouts. For example, on my arm day, I do cable cool downs and she doesn't have a cable cool down, but they have bands. So I do band pull downs. Even though it's not the same weight, it's probably a little bit lighter, then I just do more reps. If you have nowhere to work out, do body workouts. Crunches, body squats, push-ups. I did push-ups for the first time in a long time the other day, and I am somebody that has not missed a workout in months. And you know what? I was more sore than I have been in a very, very long time. Body workouts such as push-ups, you they're fantastic for you, and you'll honestly find that there are certain parts of you that are sore, and it, it makes you realize that you're probably hitting muscles that maybe you aren't hitting in your regular workouts that you do every week. Go for a jog, go for more walks, hit a step goal. There are so many options that there is never an excuse. So if you're going somewhere, just try your best to make a plan and stick to it. If you want to be better, you've got to do better. Give yourself grace and set yourself a goal. And when you get there and you find that you're the reason for it, the reward in that feeling is unmatched. So don't quit because one day is not every day. And when you have more good days than bad days, they will always outweigh them. So don't quit. Every day is a new day. Pick it back up now, not in a week whenever the damage is starting to catch you. Don't quit. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you. You have found the point in this video. Please drop this video a like, hit the bell button, and don't forget to subscribe. I truly appreciate anyone's support and anybody that is here. Thank you so much. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.